time for the paradiddle diddle. This is perhaps the most popular rudiment today. I've judged a lot of marching band competitions and I've heard a lot of paradiddle diddles lately. And we're gonna cover this rudiment. It's really very similar to a five stroke roll or better yet, a six stroke roll. A six stroke roll is right, left, left, right, right, left. There's two diddles and two taps. Same thing with a paradiddle diddle. It's right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. So this, this rudiment, when you play them consecutively, does not alternate. It's going to stay on the right. There's one accent, and it, it continues on, the, on that same hand. However, you do want to practice it starting with both hands. I'm going to start with the right. Now, this rudiment is, is easy to play fast. I think that's why it's popular. It's a very cool, hip, and funky rudiment. So I'm using these very cool and hip, funky sticks by a cool and hip, funky guy, Johnny Lee Lane. So, you know, we, we got the cool, hip, funky thing going here with the paradiddle diddles. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate the, the paradiddle diddle, starting with the right hand first. And I'm going to start slow. And notice the diddle on the right hand actually becomes an upstroke because the next right is an accent. That's starting with the right, now with the left. All right, remember, with all of these rudiments, all of the inner beats are ghost notes. We want them at the same volume, and you want a good sound, nice, even sound, not only rhythmically, but intensity-wise. Uh, don't just drop the diddle in there. Both notes have to sound the same, so you're going to need to use your wrist and fingers for that. With all of the rudiments, you need to practice them slow, and that's breaking it down slowly. We can also break it down one hand at a time. Try playing just the right hand part of the double paradiddle. So you're playing the accent and then the two notes, and then the same thing with the left hand, and work on that quality. Then I put them together. Now as we speed up, I'm going to go ahead and break down this rudiment, but I'm going to throw in a single paradiddle. I'm going to play paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle, and then a single paradiddle. So that'll take me to my left hand, and then I'll do the same thing, and then back. I'm going to start slow, and then speed up. Alright, I'm going to say something that sounds a little strange. Speed doesn't come by working on speed. You have to get it slow first and get the technique down. And if you get it, you will have speed. But I have to work on that and make sure it's smooth at a slow tempo before I can speed it up. Alright? So slow it down. Break it down. Throw it down. Okay, so by now you've watched all the paradiddle videos. Single paradiddle, double paradiddle, triple paradiddle, and paradiddle diddle. We're now going to play an exercise from my book, Dr. Throwdown's Rudimental Remedies. This is from lesson 14. It's exercise number two. It incorporates all of these paradiddle rudiments. First in their original form with one accent each. And then it throws in double accents and triple accents on the par double paradiddle and triple paradiddle. So there are seven different tempos for each of these tracks. And these tempos are basically a very hip metronome. These tracks are custom made just for these exercises. And in this lesson, lesson 14, we're gonna go to the Middle East and do some belly dancing. So all the music from each section is a different style of music from somewhere around the world. This is Middle Eastern music. 
using single, double, triple, and paradiddle diddles. We're going to first play it at tempo two, and then I'm going to attempt it at ludicrous speed, tempo seven. <laughs> 